Hi, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. Today I have a quick tutorial on the knit seed stitch. Um, this was one of the very first stitches that I wanted to learn when I started knitting. Um, the texture is amazing and it's really, really simple uh, to knit up. So this set of needles that I have is from Art of Siberia and they're 10 millimeter um, needles handmade. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing them from their Etsy shop. So let's get started. So I'm using super bulky weight yarn. Um, this wool is from Knit Picks. I'll leave a link in the description box as well. So go ahead and start with a slip knot. Place your needle in the loop and you want to cast on any odd number of stitches. So when you're casting on, don't pull too tight. Um, you don't want it too snug. Uh, you still want the loops to be able to slide back and forth easily. So I'm using the long tail cast on method. I do have a slower tutorial um, if you need assistance with that. So I'll go ahead and link that in the corner of the screen. So your slip knot counts as a stitch. So don't forget to count your slip knot as your first stitch. I'm going to go ahead and cast on uh, 11 stitches. I think that should give me enough stitches to play with. So go ahead and cast on um, 11 stitches if you're following along or any odd number of stitches. All right, so let's take a look. I have um, 11 stitches. Okay, 11, okay. So for the first row, you're going to alternate a knit stitch and a purl stitch so for the very first one you want to knit so insert your needle through the front loop wrap your yarn around and then pull it through and slide it off your left hand needle so with the yarn in the front you want to purl your second stitch so wrap your yarn around the same way and then purl the second stitch. I do have uh, tutorials for knitting and purling if you need assistance with that. So yarn in the back. Now we're going to knit the third stitch. So that's pretty much it. You're um, alternating a knit and a purl stitch and then for each row after that you're alternating so the knit will be on top of the pearls and the pearls will be on top of the knit and that's what it gives it that really 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 beautiful texture okay so my next one is a knit and then you want to purl And I do have a separate video um, for the continental knitting style, which is actually the way that I knit. So this is just your traditional English style. Um, I knit continental style, but I wanted to provide uh, both videos um, because I do get a lot of requests um, to show them differently. So check out that video if you're interested in um, seeing how I knit the seat stitch uh, continental style.
right, so I'm done with my first row. Let's take a look. Um, so right here, let me show you what your pearl stitches look like. So these stitches here that have a strand of yarn that goes across. So every other stitch, as you can see, it sort of has a bump. So that's what gives it that bumpy texture. So that's the pearl stitches. So if you ever get lost, so that first one is a pearl. So now you want to um, alternate. So you want to knit the first stitch. So it's pretty much the exact same thing as the first row. You're just going to repeat the same thing um, for every row. But if you get lost, let's say you had to stop for some reason. See this part right here? That's your purl stitch. So you want to knit this stitch. So basically you want to purl the knit stitches and knit the purl stitches. So that's helpful to remember if you have to stop for some reason um, and, then, and then you need to come back to your work. Okay? And don't forget that you need your yarn in the back for a knit stitch and yarn in the front for your purl stitches. all done with the second row so that's it guys that's pretty much what you um, repeat for every row I'm going to um, complete one more row so just repeat the knit one and purl one Alright, so here's a little sample that I've completed. Um, it's pretty simple, just alternating knit and purl stitches, and it's a one row repeat, and the end result is really beautiful. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, and please subscribe if you enjoy my videos.